Yeah. Hello, my name is Marshall Landa. I'm a project coordinator at the Russian Culture Center in Zambia. I would like to welcome you all to the International Cosmonautics Day. Today, five, six cosmonautics, astronauts, and taikonauts from different countries have traveled to space. The path began on April 12, 1961 with Soviet cosmonautics. Exactly 59 years ago, Yuri Gagarin took mankind to space. Today, Moscow Museum of Cosmonautics launches the Gagarin International, and we are grateful for that. Thank you very much. Yuri Gagarin, born in the village of Klushno, he spent much of his time in his village. And in 1941, September, the Nazi Germany invaded their village, of which it disturbed Yuri Gagarin's studies. On April 9, 1943, the Red Army liberated the village and the studies resumed. In June 1951, Yuri graduated from college with honor and entered a technical school in the city of Besarato. Going on in 1954, Gagarin entered the flight club, performed 196 flight, and flew 42 hours, 23 minutes. Thank you very much. At this particular moment in time, I'd love to invite my friend Solomon. Woo! <laughs> Bravo! Yeah. On March 7, 1960, Yuri was enlisted as listener, cosmonaut in the cosmonaut group. Mm -hmm. On January 25, 1961, he was appointed by the cosmonaut group, the full-fledged cosmonaut. Yuri was the commander of our class department, record pilot instructor Valentin Palekin. He was short in height, about 63 meters, at most 60, 65 meters. Weight was so small, 60 kilograms. But stocky, strong, muscular, he was an avid athlete. He sang in the choir, danced, we carried the heavy loads on Cosmo work. He was wonderful, sympathetic, we consider Jerry strong in theory and often turned to him for help. He never refused. In March 1961, 20 people were enrolled at the first cosmonaut group. Of these, 12 managed to fly into space. Among them, Yuri Alexeyevich Gagarin was there. Yes. You can see how the heart of the first cosmonaut was beaten before launch. On this unique document, this is an electrodiagram taken from Yuri Gagarin, taken less than before the day, his historic flight. On the evening of April 11, 1961, Gagarin's heart, rhythms, and other medical indications were taken every four hours, according to the recollections at Dover. On April 12, 1961, the first cosmonaut, Yuri Gagarin, realized the centuries old dream of mankind flying into space. The Vostok ship with Yuri Gagarin on board circled the Earth in 108 minutes and landed safely. Woo! Dear viewers, I thank all of you for joining me today on International Cosmonautics Day. Today we remember the day when Yuri Gagarin, the world's first man into space, made his legend, legendary flight. The Moscow Museum of Cosmonautics and I invite all of you to participate in the flash mob smile of Gagarin. It is simple. The first cosmonautic is known to the whole world, not only for his flight, but also for his open smile. Mm -hmm. We offer to share positive emotions with each other. It's easy to participate. You just upload your photo with a smile on your social media, which could be Instagram, Facebook, MySpace, and use the hashtags Smile of Gagarin, hashtag Cosmonautics Day, hashtag Conquer of Space, and pass the button of a friend by asking them to share a photo in Pokemon. 
I am Solomon Zunda Simbe from Zambia, Lusaka. Yeah, thank you, Solomon Marshall. Please join us. Thank you, Museum of Cosmonauts in Moscow, for this opportunity. I'm so grateful to this guy that they come and do this performance. And uh, so, hello from Zambia, Lusaka. Hello, Zambia, Lusaka.